Momo's gonna steal the show as usual. I'm used to it. So something really weird happened on the way home today. I was on a two-way road, two-lane road, so there are two in mine and two in the other, and there was a car far ahead of me and I saw it break and it was really ahead of me so I noticed that it was breaking for one of those big Canada geese. I was crossing the road, big guy too, and so I had plenty of time and I, I by the time I put on the brakes the bird was in the left lane and I was in the right and my heart didn't even race, I wasn't that close to it, but I slowed down and just sort of made sure I passed it cautiously. And uh, there was only one other car behind me, and it was like 100 feet back, a big Escalade. Or if it wasn't really an Escalade, it was something like it. Um, but the first thing you do is look in your rear view mirror to see, you know, what happens to the bird. And I look in my rear view, and the, the Escalade swerves and hits the bird. It swerves and hits the bird. Now, I'm watching this, and I'm shocked and I I can't put together in my brain why that happened because it didn't have to and there was a red light that I was coming up on and I braked and it, you know and while I'm slowing down to brake for the red light my my windows all the way down it was a beautiful day I'm sticking my hand out the window doing the sort of like what the fuck gesture with the hand what the fuck uh, <laughs> uh, and the car slowly rolls up next to me and um, the windows are up, and I lean out my window. And it's funny, because it's rare in my life I've felt so confident to say something aggressively. Usually if I'm... I'll leave buffer for in case I'm wrong, so I won't say something totally confidently, if there's a room for me to be wrong. But in the maybe 30 seconds I had to think about what had just happened and absorb it, I lean out the window, and their, their windows are still up, and I said, tell me that was an accident. The lady must have read my lips or, I don't know, whatever. Rolls down her window. She's got her hands over her mouth. Her eyes do seem, and her face looks genu genuinely surprised. I get a glimpse of the driver. He's a, just an old guy, older guy, but not that old. And she has her hands over her mouth, and she goes, we did not know what to do. We didn't want to swerve and hit you. And I said, I was nowhere near you guys. You were a movie in my rearview mirror. They certainly weren't far enough away for me not to see it happen. But they were plenty behind me to the point where there was no racing of my heart either when I passed it or when I was waiting to see what would happen to the bird. There was, I just didn't, they were way behind me. That was bullshit. At the same time, I'm sure they didn't like roll up the window after the light turned green and I went ahead because what can you say? But I'm sure they weren't like rolling up the window and being like, ha ha, we really did hit the bird on purpose and lied to her. I don't believe that either. So it's like, I don't, I'm still baffled. I don't know why this happened. So it got kind of interesting because I'm thinking to myself, all right, well, how do I tell this story? If at all, if I even do. One way is to say, you know, this creature that is conscious and worthy of living and not being hit by a car. I have no idea if it lived or died. Uh, but it went under the car and rolled and rolled and rolled. <laughs> Should I say rolled and rolled and rolled? <laughs> not this way. And um, so this conscious being worthy of, of life and general health, I guess, uh, just got killed. And that sucks. And it didn't have to. And that sucks. And I don't understand. And that's outrageous. And it's going to keep me up at night. Okay. And then on the other hand, on the other side of the spectrum, you could say, well, you know what? It's not like it was going to be the next president of the United States or the next Rodney Featherface entertainer, great entertainer. I have no idea. That's all I got for my com comedic names tonight, I guess. Um, so it's not like, it, and it's a bird and it poops everywhere and there's tons of them around and shit happens, birds get hit by cars, the end. And that's true too. Or maybe it's somewhere in the middle. But, you know, chances are I'm going to forget about this in the next day or two or three and this whole experience will basically exist in a spontaneous video blog on Facebook and YouTube and 
birds get hit by cars and the choice lies in how you want to tell the story and how you want to remember it and um i think everybody improvises that <laughs> what else can you do but improvise uh, but it's it, for the for a rare time i felt today both fully confident in my outrage which is nice i think they call it righteous feels really good uh, but also really keenly aware that you have a choice on how you how you feel, formulate these stories and how they live with you later, if at all. It's interesting. Poor bird. Um, so that's it. I mean, it's not going to keep me up at night, but at the same time, it's worth talking about. It's a poor little bird. Okay. Happy weekend. Careful driving.